Hello, I'm Takia Smith in for Donna Bush with your SIG TV News Brief today, Friday, 25th November. A special meeting was held today to elect a new speaker and deputy speaker for the Cayman Islands House of Parliament. Father of the House and former Speaker the Honorable Makiva Bush presided over the election. For the speaker role, former Deputy Speaker the Honorable Catherine Ebanks Wilkes was nominated by the Premier, Mr. Wayne Panton, while Leader of the Opposition, the Honorable Roy McTaggart, nominated Sir Alden McLaughlin. Catherine Ebanks Wilkes will now serve as Speaker after securing 10 votes. Today I am filled with gratitude to have been appointed to the Office of Speaker, which is a role that holds an enormous responsibility and authority. I thank God because I'm here today only because of him. I'm humbled that members have bestowed their trust and confidence in me. Today I feel a great sense of pride to have been given the privilege to follow in the footsteps of five previous esteemed, strong female leaders of our country. The Honorable Sybil McLaughlin, the Honorable Edna Moyle, the Honorable Mary Lawrence, and last but not least, my fellow elected member for Cayman Brac East, the Honorable Juliano O'Connor Connolly, who is always displayed leading with a graceful force. As a female speaker, I want to publicly acknowledge all of their efforts as each of them did their part to pave the way for female parliamentarians in our country. When I was first approached about accepting the nomination of speaker, my first consideration was to the members that have more experience, and particularly the Minister of Education, who did a phenomenal job as speaker. We often hear the Honorable Minister of Education refer to her children, and right now, they are her priorities. The second consideration was whether or not this would impact my duties to my constituency. And lastly, I considered the ongoing need to fill the vacancy of speaker in order to provide stability to our newly autonomous parliament, which has lots of items on the agenda to be actioned. In the election for deputy speaker, MP for Bodentown East, Honorable Dwayne Seymour, and the MP for Georgetown South, Ms. Barbara Connolly, were both nominated for the deputy speaker role. Mr. Seymour was successful after earning 10 votes. To watch today's special meeting, you can log on to the Cayman Islands Government YouTube page. Celebrate Cayman honored the Seafarers of West Bay on Thursday, November 23rd. Over 600 seafarers from the district were recognized for their contributions as nation builders at the Wesleyan Holiness Church. The final event in the Celebrate Cayman Seafaring Honor Series will be held on Tuesday, November 29th at the King's Seventh-day Adventist Church located behind Cayman Academy off Walker's Road. For more information on the Seafaring Honors and the National Seafarers Registry, visit CelebrateCayman.ky. Since 1991, the world has marked 16 days of activism against gender-based violence against women and girls. The Gender Affairs Unit under the Premier, along with the Family Resource Center and the Cayman Islands Crisis Center and the Alliance to End Domestic Violence have come together to call for the prevention and elimination of violence against women and girls here in the Cayman Islands. The 16 days begin today, 25th of November, also known as the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women, and ends on 10th December, Human Rights Day. Everyone is encouraged to wear orange and use the hashtag orange the world when they post to social media. Now for tonight's weather. Forecast call for partly cloudy skies with a 20% chance of showers. Temperatures will fall to the mid 70s. Wind will be east to northeast at 10 to 15 knots. Seas will be slight to moderate with a wave height of two to four feet. As always, for the latest on expected local weather conditions, visit weather.gov.ky. And that's all for our top news stories. My name is Takia Smith, again in for Donna Bush. Thank you for joining us today. Have a wonderful and safe weekend.